there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 4 today we're continuing our let's play. This is episode 311 in today's episode. Well, if you add 600 to the episode count, that's what we're looking at, is the 911 Club. For that we need a Porsche 911. So we head to Porsche for a Porsche 911, the 2010 Porsche 911 Sport Classic. I thought we were heading to Smart. My favourite Porsche 911, probably. <laughs> Oh, the, the 996, your favorite one? No, the 993 is my favorite generation, probably, but the 997 is cool. And the Spot Classic's cool because it looks like a classic, but it isn't shit. Holy shit, I went to pick out a color, and the disclaimer takes up half the screen and doesn't go. <laughs> How dare you order it in the color? Hey, <laughs> check response if you want to see it. <laughs> He's dying. He's dying. <laughs> Mate, he's got a car accident. <laughs> he's, he's, he's crashed it into a lake. It sounds like you've oh, just entered the Illuminati. 911 yeah. Club, an event that uh, welcomes all generation of Porsches. How Porsche's... would you know? 911 <laughs> Club, an event that welcomes all generation of the Porsche's Illuminati iconic 911 sports car. Wait, it's S Class, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, oh god, oh, yeah. I, I, I love that Sierra, I mean, see? It's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm, burgundy. You, you, you don't see Elf of the Car, but hey! Wait, what's that? <laughs> oh, GT2 uh, RS engine, okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on, what's the most expensive paint? Why is it white? Oh. White's an exclusive colour these days. It's like, just what, bright Thanks, and silver. House. Thanks, Dad. Uh, hello, Goman. Hey. Hello. We, oh, we Goman. Lost for you. That's good. Yeah. Oh, this is a good trade. <laughs> we swap out yeah. of Goman uh, more often. Yeah, as a died in a I car mean, crash, I mean, at least we can end up. Yeah. Right, let me do my <laughs> thing. At least we, can, we, we end up the name. I'm going to read it off that. again because I feel like I was interrupted too much last time, and obviously people can't read. Oh. 911 Club, an event that welcomes all generations of Porsche's iconic 911 sports car. Maple Valley Full Circuit Reverse is first. This is only a free race event. Go figure. Wow. I mean, oh, that's boring, man, if you don't get to suffer. But it's my favourite Porsche, so I wouldn't be suffering. God, I wish it gets this worse. Was... I like the Sport Classic. It's funky. It's grey. It has a brown interior as well. Hell yeah, because I associate like Porsches with brown. Dark orange. That's a recent order, 911. Brown interior. Yeah, man. Damn. Uh, that's. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Remember the glory <laughs> days of when people actually that, bought our cars that, in the 80s? That's, that's quite a list of options you got there. I don't mm. know what you posted in response. Shedding's number one fan. I don't mind Shedding. of personalization. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time finding what you want in there. Yeah. Oh, I can't get the 17 inch alloys on this one. Max Verstappen's trying to push me wide, and he does! Can I get the 16 inch oh. flex wheels? I went for a bit of a... Is this is as retarded as Renault? Like, you, you can get everything depending on which spec you get. Well, no, you can Well, I mean, the Nissan Micra space. is a Clio, so... Oh, I can get the... Protection pack. What does that have? Air Clear bag. coat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, bet, I bet it's like back sp sp auto braking and shit like that. Yes. No, God, no, that's all. Auto braking is becoming a uh, requirement next year. I, I yeah. an illuminated entry guard. It's that thing um, that you see on the bottom of the door that says Micra. <laughs> just say, like, Door light. It's <laughs> no. What's, you what's have it to, you have to, I mean, to be you fair, to... my car has fake carbon fiber <laughs> on the door card, so <laughs> yeah. But that makes it go faster. Like, I, think, oh, it's I, I need to, to, to be, actually boost you like this. I need to check it, but I'm <gasps> fairly it certain. It comes with a safety jacket. I'm fairly certain the rear view mirror is coated in fake carbon fiber. <laughs> Holy moly, it comes with a smartphone holder. Why is a smartphone holder more than the safety Why jacket? would you need a smartphone holder if it's got an infotainment screen? I, I don't know. 
Um, smartphone cup holder. Is that like two in one? That's kind of that's a steal. That is. Porsche 911 Sports Classic is a cool rear 911. Yes. That's the point. Ludo is a Jack Goff fan. I mean, we're all Jack Goff fans here. Yeah. You'd be hard pressed to find someone who isn't a Jack Lewis Goff is, fan. Lewis is. Uh, Lewis is. Ludo's favourite driver is Nick Hamilton, though. So. Yeah, no. Who's yeah, your favourite driver in the BTCC? Uh, Jason Plato, because that's the only one I remember got the name of. There you go. Why is one of the colours called Enigma Black? I thought he was going to say something oh, no. Yeah, exactly. Now. That's like very close to something else. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great colour name. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I want to Photoshop this now. <laughs> Nissan. Oh no! <laughs> Nissan, you got some explaining to do, buddy. Nissan's just sat there like, we're Why losing. Why is a coat hanger an option in the Nissan Micra? <laughs> They're just sat there, just like we're losing market share. How can we get our name out there? Oh, I know. Just a fucking coat it's hanger. The Micra's barely large enough for people. I don't know, coat hanger and a waste of space. A coat yeah. hanger and a very racist color option. Jackoff is the only team hard oh, driver on how to drive. Um, I think fucking that... what's his name did all right. Getty. I want to spec out. Uh, 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 Oakhurst. Oakhurst. Are we talking? Yeah. What do you mean? You you say the the, the fucking colors were cursed for the coat hanger, something. Oh, coat hanger. Yeah, I mean, you just, Listen, you, you say, might be you going to a very cursed. important business meeting in, in your Nissan Micro. What spec did you go for? Um, N Sport Center, Pack. It, oh, Placenta. Yeah. yeah, you could I be see, going to a uh, very important doctor's call in your Nissan Micro Placenta. Placenta yeah. ICT92 CVT2 will drive Ascenta E. Yeah. I mean, it's a CVT. Can I spec yeah. out a Nissan ENV200 Combi? <gasps> Do you mean a Renault? <laughs> no, the ENV200 is its own thing, I think. Something popped up as a press print screen, so this is an awful screenshot, but that's what it looks like. Is it? Like. Mm-hmm. Camino Vehu yeah. Extreme Circuit. I think the ENV200 was actually a Renault, so... Download a price list. Just give it to me here. No, the Renault traffics its own thing, isn't it? Yeah, but I thought they shall do with it. Oh, it's got a I mean, they bump. might do a Renault version of it, I don't know. I can't say I've seen like, one. Uh... <gasps> this also has a placenta oh. edition. Wait. Only... Why is that beige an uh, option colour? Oh, it doesn't cost anything, that's fine. Yeah. That NV200 is one of the most disgusting looking vehicles I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> it's looking fresh, my it man. It looks like... Uh, what yeah, looks what's that really bumpers. ugly s sea creature called? Um, blobfish. Uh, blobfish? Yeah. It, it looks like if a blobfish, like, had to transform into something, like, normal. <gasps> that's Good what it news. is. The Ascender comes default with, uh, plastic bumpers. Wow. Well, as, po as okay. opposed to what? Mad Max-style metal exposed bumpers. Perfect for when it goes banger racing in about 50 years time. It was wrong. They don't share it with uh, fucking... Uh... Oh. Return of El Camino. But they share it with, with something magnificent. The Mitsubishi Delica D, Mitsubishi Delica Van, and the Ashok Leyland Steel. Ooh! Swag. Do you know a fun fact about Mitsubishi Vans actually? No. What? No. Recently in Australia they crash tested one and it got minus. What? Minus what? Minus it was so bad, I'm fairly something. certain the score was minus. <laughs> well, it just opens a whole new like loophole of getting a crash score so bad that its stack underflows to a perfect score. Well, they don't really <laughs> crash test vans, so vans can get away with like not having much like, make protection. A, like, produce the Bedford Rascal nowadays and you'll get a perfect score every time. Yeah, man. I, I'm fairly certain they only started crash testing vans in like 2013 or something. Like, it took them ages to do it. Thing is, that sounds like it was a couple of years ago, but like, it's like what, eight? Seven I don't know. I minutes. mean, it was on fifth gear, so that probably dates it. It's it was great because when it was on fifth gear, they were like, we're going to crash a Volkswagen Passat into this Volkswagen van, but we're also going to load the Volkswagen van full of cement because, you know, most van drivers drive around with two tons of cement in the back at any time. 
Naturally. Yeah, Wikipedia, <laughs> fifth gear is shit. No. <laughs> and basically, <laughs> in case you're wondering how the test went, the driver of the Passat would have survived without a leg. Um, and the fucking okay. van driver would have been killed by the force of, like, two tons of concrete smashing into his spine. <laughs> fifth gear is yeah, still uploading to YouTube. Stop. Yeah, man. They uploaded uh, Martin Brundle's Supercars, which is one of my favourite DVDs, and I realised how bad it was when I rewatched it on the... Fifth gear oh, South Korea that, special. Yeah, well, it's that documentary I was telling you about where Martin Brundle basically yeah. sits there and goes the entire time. It's like, you know, this McLaren F1's alright. The steering's not quite as good as the steering in my 1999 24 hours Le Mans entry Toyota GC1, but it, it's close. <laughs> Yeah. The G1? Uh, he also goes to Sainsbury's in a Ferrari F40, I think, which is quite funny. And then races it against the Fiat Punto. What is it with like people getting like the best, like some of the best cars in the world, and just doing the most mundane shit in them? It's the like, fancy way to fucking views, Sainsbury's in cool. a Ferrari. <laughs> and he's like you sat there, he's buying like get... fucking wine and olive oil. He buys like a French stick, and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> the thing is, when I first get the car of the dreams, they uh, suddenly think they didn't get that far and have no more plans. Yeah, then they have to fill their pathetic lives with something else. Listen, when you're Martin Listen. Brundle and you've driven a 1999 Toyota GC1 at the 24 hours of Le Mans, you know, life's complete. What else oh, is there to life? Yeah. A, there's a BMW i4, which is a... 4 Series electric car. I did not yes. realize that exists. They've also done a new electric 3 Series, I think. Oh, what? No, wait, isn't the 4... Isn't the i4 a 4-door? Yeah, but it's yeah. also Whoa, a 4 yeah. Series. Why yeah, is but the 4, the 4 Series isn't a... F no, but the 4... Oh, God. No. The, 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 well, no, the 4 Series the is a 4-door. Do you think BMW yeah. does this intentionally now? Because I'm thinking saying ever since they did that BMW 2 Series Active Tour, they literally do not care about what the numbers mean anymore. That's the thing. I was like, the numbers. They just go least, into a market okay. meeting and goes, "How can we confuse people? Do that. All right, let's do it." Wait, there's a BMW i3, i3s, i4, i. They're still making the i3. Ix. What? Why are the two i? What ix? What? Oh, actually, that's a good point. I found something funny the other day. Oh From 69,000. There was um, a, a Twitter post God, about a hot hatch awesome. or something. I can't remember what it was. It was GR Yaris or something. Or was it? No, it was like, oh, what would you rather have? Golf R or an AMG A45 AMG or something like that. And the guy underneath it was like, there's no point in this comparison. BMW already made the greatest hot hatch of all time with the i3. It's like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, and he's just sat there, just the like, best. yeah, bro. They made oh, it out of carbon fiber, and it was really light and like it's. And see, that, that yeah. thing you they busted reinvented the ladder chassis. It's a fucking elevator with an electric motor attached to it. That's all the i3 I'm, is. So an elevator. <laughs> Have I shown you that? Because there's this um, YouTube channel called Sport B. I think they're called. B. And they do these great videos Sporting. just talking about it. So, yeah, it's just this German guy. I assume he's got like a background in automotive engineering or something. Sporting. He's probably like race girls. by the sounds of it. Oh, yeah, no, he has an 8 series or something. But I love all his videos where he just trash talks BMW and like all the German car companies. I hate BMW so much I gave them money. Yeah. <laughs> well, I bought them second hand. No, yeah, no one yeah. who likes BMWs buys them, buys them brand Oh, you them. never buy a BMW second hand. That means it voids the manufacturer's warranty and then you're in for all world of pain. Just, 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 just cut just, everything just, out of the equation. Just, just don't get one. I beat an Alpina in a drag race yesterday. Yeah, you've yeah, you said. It's I beat an Alpina. Yeah, no way is it a horrendous, mate. It's, it's a... Oh, yeah. In fact, I made the Alpina very, very yeah, angry, yeah, which was the best bit about it. <laughs> what? That's oh, we mean? rolled this, but... Okay, cool. Um, yeah, the the Alpina got kind of angry because he's basically, like, coming alongside me as if he's, like, about to overtake. And, like, before we get onto the motorway here, there's, like, a roundabout. And I just wanted to launch it and see what it did. Right? Mm -hmm. So I was basically yeah. doing 30 the entire time around this roundabout, and the guy was doing about 35. And he's about to like sort of come alongside me because it wasn't technically undertaken. I've like floored it. He floored it too. <laughs> it's just like what the fuck. And then once I hit seventy, I just went off it. and He just went flying fucking past. It was great. I, I like doing the that. The M5 though. is a hundred and two grand. 
Yeah, it's that's, got like a million a, horsepower now. The M3 like. is 74,815 pounds. Listen, you pay like Inflation. 10 grand for that grill alone. <laughs> Fair point, but like the M4 competition convertible is still as the last... Why? Right, hold on, hold on. Stop there. Why would you turn around and go, yes, I want the most hardcore BMW M4, but I also want the roof chopped off it? <laughs> no, no, the best part <laughs> is, right? <laughs> best part is the preview has the colour in brown. See, at that point, that's when, like, competition... <laughs> if they had, like, a competition line, that would make sense. But it's like, why do don't you want to track focus... Like, what's the don't point? Don't give them ideas. They'll make oh, a they'll competition do it. line. M, it'll be like M line and then like oh sorry M sport and then above that it'll be like competition line. I want to spec oh, one you... of these bad boys. And then do like in a few Mercedes... years time they'll bring out like an M competition sport line. Can I just you know how Mercedes used to crash it? used to do black editions. Do you think they'll do a black line? Uh oh. They, they... No, Honda's already got that. What? Oh okay, good. Right, we're safe. We might get a Brabus line though. You get a choice now. Of, you can have. That would be a way better name. You can have a black line, a red line, or a bronze line. I think. God, there's so many lines. No, but it's not like an actual like. It's only an appearance package. It's nothing else, and it literally all it gets you is like a few body kit bits. On the red package the looks horrific. It used to be orange. Orange was kind of cool. My car's technically got the black package on it because it's got the sport shit on it. So that technically Holy shit, have you seen package. the new Honda Jazz? Yes. If you haven't, don't. It's a good looking car, I like it. Do you have cataracts? Yeah. What is... <laughs> what is... It does 0 to 60 in like 9 seconds. It's surprisingly quick. Yeah, but it quick. looks like a poo. It looks fine! It looks like the old Jazz. No, it does the, not. The, the Jazz previous was an abomination to look at anyway. The brake lights were in two different places. That's... I'm gonna configure a Honda E. Hey, do not disrespect the Honda E. That's a fan. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not disrespecting the Honda. Although it makes an almighty noise when you hit the brakes. I found out the other day. Holy shit! That is a well, lot. Did you test drive one? No, I didn't test drive one. I had one drive past me. It literally sounds like an old fucking. You know, like on old castles where they have like those chain link doors that like get dropped down. It yes. sounds like the mechanism from one of those as it goes past and it's like breaking at low speeds. I've, it's just an electric car thing, I'm finding out, but... Configure my car. Yes, so you can actually hear the ear issue, I guess. No, it's not hearing it, it's just the way the regenerative braking works. Yeah, it's just, just the inverter. It sounds I think. like... It sounds like it's being tortured. <gasps> this one also has a protection pack. Mm. Guess what's in it? Uh, Dorsals. Uh, boot boot mats. Front and rear rubber mats. Dude, That's I was it. waiting to go hiking, but my Honda E didn't have rubber mats and all that. Yeah, Electric the Porsche McCann's on dirty. its way. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. How do I spec it out? This is just a bunch of, like, gubbins. The McCann's a surprisingly good-looking vehicle. Or it used to be. I think they kind of ruined it a bit. Yeah. Pierre Gasly test drive? Don't mind if I do. Uh, hello, I am Pierre Gasly. I drive this car around <laughs> France now. <laughs> I've crashed. Fuck. It is silent so much. Oh, oh, no, no, no. It, it's like, okay, here we go on our drive in the Honda E. Oh no, I've been demoted back to the Honda Jazz. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if you could have I... Helmet Marco as the sat nav operator? Is BA Gowsley really short or is the Honda E fucking huge? He's a racing driver, so tiny. He's, I don't know. He's like, I don't know. I think he's like 5'9, isn't he? He's one of the taller ones, isn't he? Oh God. I mean, I mean, Wait, I mean, I'm taller than Pierre Gasly. You, you, you You're taller than most you, races. You, yeah, you, the only person you, you probably wouldn't be taller than is George Russell. Oh, I'll come. <gasps> I can find... Wait, start with your engine. It's electric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, but may, yeah, but maybe you can get a bigger electric no. engine. No, no. No it's, no, it's it's just saying hello. You have engine. <laughs> Maybe it's trying to encourage you to buy a Honda generator. Well, to go with actually, it. no. Tell a lie. There's two <laughs> different ones. There's like the Advance and then there's the Advance Pro, and that's basically your choices. Yeah. I imagine basically it's like, hey, be a non a Honda generator to actually <laughs> charge your Honda. No, I know Yuki Tsunoda is shorter than Pierre Gasly, but Pierre Gasly still probably isn't a big dude. Like if he's yeah. over five nine, I'd be amazed. <coughs> 
French I people are kind of short anyway, one. so. I okay. have a choice of illumination pack, U R B A N pack, black and blue, or U R B A N pack black. My favorite bit about the Honda is you can get those really <coughs> awful um, protection bits that like my old Accord had. What the rubber floor mats? No, like the rubber things on the outside. Like you can get that mats. on a Honda E, but you can get them painted blue. Oh, what the uh, the bits that go around the door? So yeah. Uh, so Gasly, Gasly is, is is five feet nine. Yeah, see, exactly. I called it five nine. I hate. Well, I'm five nine and a half, so I win. I'm, and I'm five, I'm five ten. It's like just just smaller than. Oh wow! Okay, what? stop flexing, is, bro. Is one Save some tall for the rest of us, man. Yeah, you know what they say: the taller you are, the shorter your penis. Uh, no, they don't. They say the opposite. What? My penis. That's not very actually big, true thank either. You very much. I mean, I know that, I know that, yeah, no, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Alright, should I go for the 17-inch alloy wheels as standard, or the 16-inch alloy wheels as standard? You want the, the 16s because the 17s give you less range. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, you uh, get it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You go from, like, I think it's 150 miles of range to 120. Anyways, that's it for this yeah. episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time we'll be taking a look at the 959 versus F40 <laughs> challenge. So, Jonas Fart, until then, farewell. Yes, I will.